Hey, Michelle. Hi, Amy. How are you doing today? I am great. Well, would you mind telling me a little bit about yourself for people who haven't heard of you before? Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm a <laughs> lifestyle expert, and I, you know, I run the gamut. I love to talk about travel, and I'm extensive traveler, both internationally and domestically. I'm planning my vacation as we speak with my family. So we're on the cusp. We're on the cusp of vacation after an extremely, extremely busy summer season. Woof. <laughs> So, now, where are you originally from? California. I'm a California girl who lives on the East Coast, so I really span the coast so to coast <laughs> thing. Oh, yes, is that right? Yeah, I'm from Sacramento. Oh, heavens, my folks live in Sacramento right now. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> Isn't that wild? They're originally Santa Rosa folks who were burned out of Santa Rosa. Oh, no. And so they are temporarily living in Sacramento, but that's where my grandparents, you know, resided. Oh, and wow. so, yeah, so I'm very, uh, you know, off of G Street. Oh, wow, so, that's interesting. My parents are more in suburbia, yeah. but uh, I'm glad they're safe. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, tell me a little bit about your educational background, please. I am a UCLA grad, and uh, then I graduated on the East Coast for grad school um, in New York City. So um, did that over on this side. So again, a coastal, coastal experience. But uh, yeah, so I did kind of mixture of different university experiences, but loved it all. Now, how did you first get the kind of the travel bug? Oh, wow. You know, from a very, very young age, um, extremely fortunate. I'm Japanese American, very proud of my ethnic background. And my grandparents and my mother made sure that I, they wanted to make sure that I understood where I came from. My, they, they came over actually to the United States in a, in a boat. And um, a government issued United States Army boat. And they wanted me to not forget my, where I, my upbringing and where I came from. And a part of that was making sure that I went back to Japan to um, really learn the language. And so I went back and forth so uh, to Japan quite when I was young. So that was part of my early travels. That's exciting, even though it's yep. a long trip. Oh, yes, very young trip. But Now, here's a, another personal question for you. Where is somewhere you haven't been but want to visit? Oh, Africa. <laughs> I've never been to Africa. Are we ready to get started? No, no, we are, but all of this is part of it, is I want people to get to know you a little bit. So, oh, yeah, definitely. So family vacations can be really tough. Uh, do you have any tips to make it easier? Oh, my goodness, yes. You know, I'm actually, as I had mentioned, I have started uh, planning my travel right now. And I think one thing is, like, not to put all of the traveling experience or all the traveling planning on one person. Um, that happens, I think, in a lot of families when everybody's really, really busy, uh, but kind of to designate as much as possible. Uh, it makes it more fun for everybody if they, everybody can take ownership for an aspect of the trip, because for now, for example, for my kids, I assign them a day, I give them a budget, they're in charge of the schedule, they have to make a schedule. They're a little bit older now, so they can actually do this, but my son's only eight, so his day is very interesting, right? <laughs> I mean, he just <laughs> makes it his day. But And we end up doing some very interesting activities that are around his interests, and they're a bit scattered or whatever, but it's his day, so we do it. And I, he just loves it. He's beaming. He's smiling. His sister, not so much so, but it just makes it um, really, really fun, and we love it. And then when it's her day, we do what she has planned. Um, they have to stick, again, to the budget, and they have to, we have to stick to consequently their schedule but it makes it really fun they take ownership for their day they get involved and it's much more fun than following mommy's only schedule so it gets everybody involved and it takes the pressure off just one person or one parent or just anybody like for planning the entire trip now how is the way that families could get a little bit more organized when it comes to planning a family vacation yeah you know um to get more organized. Well, doing it definitely in advance absolutely helps. But if you're a last minute planner, do not worry. There's still deals that can be had and there's still um, things that are available and tools that are available to you to make the planning a smooth one. And for example, booking.com has done some research to find out what can actually help relax you during your trip. And one of the things they found is over 50% of Americans found that interior design helps relax people. Uh, in their accommodations 
to help you feel more relaxed during your vacation. So I found this absolutely fascinating and they have over 4.3 million reviews on their mobile app and their website that are real, they're up to date, they're done by real people who've stayed at their properties so that you can really trust these reviews when you're looking for those design details. So if you're a person who likes lighting, you like a lot of natural light or you like modern decor. So my husband and I are really into like modern furniture and modern furnishings or maybe you really need a kitchen because you want to do more cooking and maybe you want to save, you know, save money by doing more cooking during your vacation or it, whatever you, whatever it is that you want in terms of your interior decor details, you can find them and you can trust that the reviews are going to reflect that. Also, they have over a million different, um, uh, properties in which to stay. You can find the right one that matches up with your budget, whether it's an apartment or whether it's a villa or chateau. So um, you can definitely match up, again, your budget and your interior decor details for what you're looking for. I read that you had a pretty cool tip on how to pack when dealing with small kids. Uh, uh, oh, yes. You know, you want to make sure that you um, always pack an entire outfit for them down to the underwear in a resealable plastic bag um, because I have just been through so many different interesting situations, uh, little minor disasters in which the, uh, an item of clothing was needed. Everything from plane travel disasters to in the car disasters where you just pull out that resealable bag and you have an entire outfit that you, that you need. I have actually traveled for myself where I packed myself the same clothing because you yourself too sometimes need the change of clothes. So packing an extra bag that's easily accessible for yourself of easily to change clothes is not a bad idea. Well, thank you very much on that. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about travel insurance? Is that a good idea or a waste of money? It's definitely it's going to help you feel <laughs> carefree for those unexpected surprises in life and travel that so often creep up and can completely ruin a vacation unexpectedly. And you always hope that those surprises are good surprises, but sometimes they're bad ones. And now that we've entered hurricane season, Allianz Travel Insurance can help you feel very, very carefree when you travel and help you rest assured as a summer traveler. Again, hurricane uh, season has begun this month of June through November, and it may reimburse you for your prepaid non-refundable travel expenses if you have to cancel your trip or it can reimburse additional expenses um, that are incurred when you return uh, home safely. So one really important thing, if a hurricane is actually named or a storm is named, it is actually too late to then purchase the travel insurance. So uh, you have to do it before the storm is named. So I'm just, yeah, while you can purchase travel insurance at any time, um, I, I just, I suggest it's a, it's a great idea as an option when you book your trip to then kind of do it simultaneously to just go ahead and get the travel insurance while it's just, while it's just top of mind. That's my, just my personal suggestion. But again, it can be purchased at any time. So also just to keep in mind that um, U.S. health insurance might not be accepted when you travel abroad. So it's great when you get your insurance policy to then also include medical benefits as part of that, part of that process. So that when you return home from your international travels, um, you're not facing a mountain of medical bills. Now, one other happy family question is yes. what about snacks? Yeah. What do you think is a good way to deal with snacks for small when you're dealing with small children? Yes, definitely always pack the snacks when you're doing all your road trip and traveling so you have a, a bevy of things to choose from and you don't have to pay exorbitant prices, for example, when you're at major facilities like airports and pay double the prices for the snacks. However, when you're on the open road, it's always fun to stop by a Cracker Barrel. They have an amazing campfire menu that is all about great, bold Southern flavors um, that are so, so delicious. And they also have an incredible, unique uh, shopping experience as well. So you can shop, you can eat. It's such a fun, fun place to stop. Um, we absolutely love it. And part of their new menu, part of the new selections for the campfire menu, include smoky beef um, breakfast brisket breakfast, which my husband loves, and then the barbecue pork, and then there is the uh, s'mores latte, which I love, and the roasted uh, sweet glazed chicken, which is super tasty as well. And then they have some reoccurring favorites, which would be the campfire beef, and then the s'mores dessert, and this is all only available through July 15th. So definitely 
must check out and to put on the list. And while you're on the open road, don't forget to get a new set of tires on your car because tires are the one part of the car that is in contact with the road constantly and is much a must need for the smooth sailing um, and, and handling and it's so integral to the part of the smooth journey. So we have from Yokohama here with me, a, we're practically debuting this tire here, their Avid Ascend GT tire. Uh, it has remarkable features such as a remarkable tread life, smooth handling, a hush quiet ride. And while we're talking about summer travel, it also is great in wet and wintry conditions. So it is a fantastic all around, all season tire and gives you great confidence with that. It also comes complete with the 65,000 mile tread life warranty. So that is also exceptional in and of itself. And while we're at it, I, get, I call it take five, just take five minutes that it takes to check the tire pressure all around your car before you depart for your trip and also the tread life as well. All right, second to last question, where can people learn more information about you? Oh, oh my gosh, about me at Amy E. Goodman across all social media. Perfect, and where can people learn more about how to travel effectively? Oh gosh, at betterstufforlife.com. <laughs> That's a good tip. Well, thank you very much, Amy, and I hope you have a good summer vacation when you can finally get to it. Oh yes, you know, for everybody, I hope everybody has fun, safe travels, and such a delight to speak with you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Yep, yeah, thanks.